Hey guys, the following video is an edited down version of a live shave I did here on YouTube back in February of 2023. It features my first shave with two items, first the Verbena Toscana Hard Shaving Soap by Abate y La Mancha, and second a beautiful Thater Boar Beehive Shaving Brush that was generously gifted to me. Thanks for tuning in today and I hope you enjoy the video. First thing I want to mention is this was a gift from a viewer, Todd. Uh, this, a little bit of a backstory. Um, it, it's, it's a brush. It's a brush I'll be using for the first time. And this is an item I thought was lost in the mail. Uh, Todd had sent it just before Christmas. And, in, in, you know, in that mix is you know, going to travel and visit family, uh, putting a mail hold. And at one point, I was getting worried that maybe the package, package, which was marked delivered, was stolen from the porch. And unfortunately, this kind of stuff happens. Luckily, it was just misdelivered uh, to a neighbor, and they must have been on, on vacation or not, because either way, this thing showed up uh, maybe a week into, into January or so. And the, the brush in question is this Thater, uh, this brush from Thater, it's a Thater board. <laughs> Can't talk. Fader bore brush. Um, never used it before. This beautiful tortoiseshell uh, beehive, beehive shape. Anyway, this beautiful Fader bore brush. You know, uh, bleach tips. Todd basically, I picked it up, but just found that either this brush, or I think bore in general, was not for him. So. Uh, very generously uh, sent it over for me to use to to show you guys. So Todd, if you're watching this, or you know, later on rather, uh, thank you so much. Have not used this yet, uh, and really looking forward to do um, you know doing a shave with it today. And this is this has been soaking. It's already pretty pretty soft uh, from the get go uh, for a board brush, especially. The other new item that we're covering today, and I might come back to this because have how different of a product. This one is the newest hard soap formula, which I believe is triple milled. This is from, and also pardon my really bad Italian pronunciation, Abate y la Mancha. I need to use their regular, like softer standard soap formula. Uh, that is down the road. But this hard soap, I was able to get for uh, quite a deal from Maggard Razors. It was a scratch and dent. It was a little damaged. The tin is totally fine. The box, unfortunately, uh, was pretty mangled. Packaging, very nice. It is a, you know, I mentioned it's a Italian soap coming over from Europe. It is a little pricier uh, at full, full retail price. Typically, I would say it's like around $35. The other thing was to kind of not be inundated with tons and tons of soap is I split this hard soap with a, another shaving buddy. So again, this is why I took photos beforehand so you can see the full soap because I have a half puck here, half puck of hard soap. The scent is a really robust herby citrus. It mentions saffron and sage oil. The sage for sure, I get that's it. I think that's what's like a green herbaceousness. Uh, scent strength, I would say this is at least, I would say this is medium strong, Tanner. It also will be a little funny. I'm gonna lather it in the tin, or no, you know what? I'm gonna try lathering. I'm gonna see if it's not too slippery to hold this in my hand and lather it up. So we'll do that. And lastly, the razor is, uh, let's go with the Rockwell 6S on the six plate with a Gillette Nasset blade. Cause I've got, if I have four days worth of beard growth. That is very soft for a <laughs> first, first uh, brush on skin contact with this Thater Bore. It's got scrub, but I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I can compare this to any other bore I've used before. It does feel rather, it's soft and broken in already. But it's 
it's a, it's a new brush, so I mean, I think that's just from the get go. Also, like the beehive shave, beehive, beehive brush handle shape, it's pretty old school. I know some, it's pretty polarizing too. I don't know if you guys have any thoughts or opinions on uh, the, beehive, the beehive shape brushes, let me know. But I don't personally own any, so this is a, this is a first time with a beehive too. A lot of first, a lot of first today. But yeah, very nice, robust scent. I think because there's that green herbiness on top of the citrus. Uh, citrus can be fleeting uh, when when you use it. You know, it's really bright, happy, popping. This one's got, you know, it's got got some oomph behind it. <laughs> Well, wonderful experience. First time lathering with that brush. Here's the lather. It's not super dense. Um, you know, that's the thing with using different brushes, especially a brand new brush. I wasn't sure how heavy to load. I think this is decent. I could go, I probably would go more heavy next time. Especially we'll, you know, we'll see, do we run out of lather in subsequent passes? But let's just go in, we're getting Rockwell 6S with the Gillette Nasset blade. It's been a while since I used the Rockwell, although it is amongst my top 10 razors. A bit more audio feedback than I recall. There's definitely a lot like louder razors, but more than I rem remembered for the Rockwell. I know some folks love their triple milled or harder pucks and don't care for cropes. Another term for soft soaps, for those who might not know. Uh, typically, like a lot of the American artisan soaps are cropes uh, or very soft in texture. And the scent is a uh, herby citrus, like green herby citrus. Really nice, really nice. Um, kind of classic. It's got a little old school vibe to it, I I'd say. But uh, where that can sometimes not be a good thing for me, I, I enjoy it because I think I do like. Um, it's not exactly Aqua de Parma, but it's in that family of, of scents. But the lather, as the lather quality, it it does, um, I feel like it does match like other experiences of these hard soaps. I think with this first shave, it's gonna be hard for me to answer for the soap. Uh, the whole, like, since we're talking about value proposition, is it worth it? And in general, you know, I'm, I'm just up for trying new stuff, so. This hard soap formula is fairly recent, but for those who who are asking about the scent and scent strength, it is ro it is robust. Um, it's and a very very nice scent. Yeah, I think fans of the of the original Aqua de Parma and those types of scents, you're gonna like this one. So I think the experiment with the soap, it's, I'm, I'm happy to try it. I would say my knowledge on hard pucks, um, just based on the questions today, uh, it, it's something that I wanted more experience with. So again, if we're counting Mitchell's Wolf as a hard puck, that's probably my favorite one so far. Uh, I used to have a tub of uh, Martin de Condra Fougere, um, which I initially really liked that scent and I kind of grew tired of it. And that kind of happens to me with Fougeres. I'm not sure why, like that in, in, in particular. The ones that lean more like contemporary or modern fougere, I, I, I like those. Like, uh, uh, like Zingari has Mousse Illumine. That's a collaboration with Rogue, Rogue Perfumery. That's one I really like. One I got rid of was Barrister and Man Fern, um, which I kind of kind of regret because I, I just recently learned that it was discontinued. It might not be something I reach for all the time, but that was a quite an, quite an enjoyable fougere as well. We'll try more, uh, we'll do more shaves with this hard puck from Abate Ila Mancha. I hope I'm saying that right. But, and the first go with the Theater Boar, absolutely fantastic. 
this beauty here. So you guys will see you guys will see this a bit more too. If you guys have any requests for pro you know, to cover products, because uh, a pro any, any requests, any recommendations, any or if you need any recommendations, I should say, uh, feel free to do so in the comments down below. And of course, if you enjoy this video, if you like videos about wet shaving, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All these things help the growth of this channel. So guys, thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day, joining me for this video. It's been a pleasure. I hope to catch you next time. All right, take care everyone.